Jonathan, Windows, Linux, Solaris, where is this going? Well, I think clearly as we see the world beginning to embrace industry standard servers, taking up x64 at a very rapid pace, we're obviously driving a lot of that growth right now, um, we see a narrowing of the number of operating systems that will run on x64. So we, we definitely see volume with Solaris. We've seen our two millionth download now of that operating platform, which is just incredible volume on x64 dominantly um, and x86 generally. Uh, we don't see HPUX because Hewlett Packard has decided to leave that in a niche only running on very low volume Itanium servers which have to bridge across from PA RISC servers. Um, IBM's AIX um, is a proprietary closed source operating system that only runs on the power architecture, so again it's somewhat single source as well. The volume adoption we see out there is from Microsoft Windows, Sun Solaris, and then dominantly Red Hat Linux. I mean Red Hat has become really Linux. It's the one uh, distribution that we see enterprises dominantly purchasing. So what that does is that really sets a new playing field for operating systems now. There's the Microsoft Windows camp, the Red Hat Linux camp, and the Sun Solaris camp. All of us have an interesting opportunity to go redefine what an operating system can do, and clearly we see innovation in the operating system coupled with innovation in the industry standard server as creating a big opportunity for us out in the marketplace. But Sun Server will run Linux, will run Windows. To run off. How do you manage this? Well, I think ultimately you've got to give customers choice. Customers are going are to use and demonstrate their ability to, to make choices um, uh, you know, for as long as you know, they've got the ability to do so. And clearly they're doing that in the X64 space. They 